will continue with the secondary growth in stem of pinus suke okay, in long shoot so as you can see in my last video i had explained about the formation of the spring wood and the autumn wood so today we are going to talk particularly on the medullary rays you can see here many medullary rays which run through the secondary phloem okay, and the secondary xylem and you can see here clearly that there are two types of medullary rays so these medullary rays one is a uh, primary and the other is secondary okay these two types of medullary rays the primary rays as you can see here these are the primary medullary rays which connect the cortex okay they run from the cort from the pith to the cortex so they connect the cortex with the pith whereas as you can see here in this figure the secondary rays they travel they traverse the secondary xylem and the secondary phloem okay so also now we will talk about these uh, medullary rays okay they are mostly uniseriate okay that means they are arranged in a single row and they are about 2 to 12 cells in height sometimes we will see that later on that sometimes these medullary rays they are multi seriate okay that is they are of many rows only when associated with resin ducts lined with thin walled cells so if you just take a look at this diagram here as you can see that the medullary rays in lo in radial longitudinal section the medullary rays they are cut lengthwise you can see these are the medullary rays okay this portion here these are the medullary rays so when a vascular bundle okay is cut in a radial longitudinal section the rays they are cut lengthwise whereas in case of tangential longitudinal section in case of tangential longitudinal section they are cut transversely okay so we will study about these in detail now they differ in their structure as you can see in this figure they differ in their structure in the secondary xylem as well as the secondary phloem okay so you can see here the medullary rays in the secondary xylem and the medullary rays in the secondary phloem they are different so let us study let us see in secondary xylem each medullary ray okay each medullary ray here it consists of thin wall parent chymatous cells and these cells they are filled with starch and also one or more layers of tracheids okay you can see here these are filled with starch the cells here the parenchymatous cells of medullary rays they are filled with starch cells and also they are um, and also one or more layers of the tracheids you can found on both sides of the medullary rays and the ray tracheids here they are pitted having bordered pits okay these are the bordered bits of tracheids in their lateral end walls you can see here in both sides of the tracheids we have the bordered pits this is to facilitate the radial translocation 
okay, to facilitate radial translocation, that is the movement of materials from the uh, pith to the cortex and also the epidermis. Okay, so to facilitate translocation, the presence of these bordered pits in ray tracheids. Now, in whereas in case of a secondary phloem, you can see the each medullary ray is cons also consists of a thin walled parenchymal cells filled with starch. Okay, but you can see one or more layers of albuminous cells on each side of the medullary ray. So that is how it is different from the xylem. It has these albuminous cells on both sides of the rays and these albuminous cells they are somewhat elongated vertically so here in radial longitudinal section of the vascular bundle okay the structure as we can see the stem is cut along the radius okay and so the pith we can see the pith it shows the cell of xylem Cambium and the phloem. Now, whereas the medullary rays, they are seen running horizontally. The xylem is composed of tracheids with oblique end walls. Okay. So now these, they there in the xylem there are no vessels. Okay, and the bordered the, these bordered pits on the radial wall of tracheids they are seen in surface view and they are uniseriate okay they are uniseriate arranged in single row and you can see here they are separated by these what we refer to as the bars of sanyo okay bars of sanyo now what are these bars of sanyo here you can see these bars of sanyo they are special thickenings which are made up of cellulose and pectin on the tracheid walls now the bars of sanyo of two adjacent bordered pits you can see here these are the bordered pits okay and these are the crescent shaped bars of sanyo okay so these bars of sanyo, two adjacent bars of sanyo, sometimes they get fused together, okay, to form what we refer to as rims of sanyo, okay, rims of sanyo. Now, the phloem in, if you take a look at the phloem, it is composed of the sieve cells, okay, it is composed of the sieve cells. Uh, with tapering ends and the sieve areas are present in the radial walls and also in case of phloem just remember that the comp companion cells are absent so as you can see here the medullary rays they are extend both in xylem and phloem regions and they are about 2 to 12 cells in height so in the xylem region each ray it is consists of the parenchymal cells with will starch and ray tracheids and the ray tracheids they may occur singly okay they may occur singly or in series usually at the margins of the ray you can see here at the margins of the ray and also they have lignified walls okay you can see here they have lignified walls okay that is by due to the deposition of lignin so they have lignified walls with the with these bordered pits you can see here these bordered pits okay so in the phloem region whereas in the phloem region each starch or each cell each ray it consists of starch filled with the parenchyma cells bounded on upper and lower side by vertically elongated albuminous cells on both sides and the phloem rays they are of two types okay in case of phloem just remember that they are of two types that is the one which dies with the rest of the phloem okay whereas the other it survive even after the death of the phloem so just remember girls in the 
uh, in case of medullary rays in pinus in the phloem there they are of two types that is the one which dies with the phloem while the other it survives even after the death of the phloem so whereas uh, in in both the radial and tangential longitudinal section of pinus you can see a similar structure of the medullary rays whereas in tangential lo longitudinal section passing away from the center of the stem here okay let us take a look at this figure okay the xylem the cambium and the phloem in longitudinal orientation okay whereas the medullary rays they are cut across okay they are cut across like this so the xylem is mainly composed of tracheids here you can see now the bordered pits okay the xylem is mainly composed of tracheids let us take a look at this single tracheids here you can see this is a portion of a single tracheid okay with bordered pits you can see here these are the bordered pits this is the enlarged picture of the bordered pits now these bordered pits they are present on the radial wall of the tracheids okay they are cut across in tangential longitudinal section and these pits they are also present in the oblique end walls of tracheids and each pit it shows a thin middle lamella i hope you can see here this one in the middle okay this one this from both sides you can see this is the middle lamella okay so you can see here the middle lamella can be seen clearly and this middle lamella lamella overarch on either side okay on either side by a dome shape you can see here the, this is a dome shaped okay area formed by the lignified walls and this area it has the opening this is the opening part here the pit opening in the middle you can see this is the opening so the area has an opening on each side of the pit and in between the two pores you can see here a centrally located torus so this is the opening on both sides and you can see a centrally located torus with the middle lamella on both side of the torus and the whereas if you talk about the phloem the phloem it is similar in as in case of the radial longitudinal section okay as here as i have already mentioned that the medullary rays in the phloem okay they are similar in both the radial longitudinal section as well as tangential longitudinal section and uh, each where each ray it consists of the starch parenchymatous cell bounded by the upper and low bounded in upper and lower side by the albuminous cells so that is the rls and tls section of the stem of pinus okay where we can see clearly the middle lamella okay you can see here the middle lamella okay which run through the and you can see here the uh, uniseriate medullary ray but in this case where the resin canal is present I had, as i had mentioned earlier that the medullary ray it may be sometimes multi seriate okay so you can see here that the uh, mul medullary ray it is multi seriate so this is the um section of the vascular tissue in both the R radial longitudinal section and tangential longitudinal section of the pinus stem.